Okay, um, please join me in Gasho. Put your, um, put your palm together if you can. Shikai no kukai, shoji no kukai, hotori nashi, hisashiku shizumeru warela oba, mira no guze no fune no mizo, no sete, kanarazu, watashikeru. The ocean of birth and death of painful existence has no bound. Only by the ship of Amida's universal bow can we, who have long been drawing unfailingly to be brought across it. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Um, happy spring. Uh, is it too soon to say if you are living in Minnesota? Um, but um, um, for the through the calendar, so we it's the time to celebrate in the spring, I think. So you might you might feel too soon, um, but uh, some are not living in Minnesota. So I think obviously uh, you are enjoying the, the spring season. So um, we still have some amount of snow outside in Minnesota. Uh, the temperature is still low enough to freeze rain and water. So, but uh, we are sure that the spring had come on March 20th, just through the calendar, and then this year, 2023 too. So thank you for attending today's spring Ohigan service. The spring Ohigan is that the, um, it's held yeah, during the spring equinox, uh, uh, which is March 20th, uh, this year, 2023. So in the time when the, the things seems to be in balance, so the day and night and equal and temperature are more moderate, kind of in Minnesota. Uh, and then the spring autumn equinox is a day, the sun comes up from the due, due east and then set down into the due, due west. So the directions of the east and the west has never changed. So just like a routine of the, the equinox has also never changed. It's just like a universally um, um, Namo Amida Butsu, so Amida Buddha's uh, the guidance. So special Ohigan service is usually observed in a uh, Japanese Buddhist temple. We try to change, uh, here we go. Um, okay, so uh, in Japanese temple abroad also, so the based on the, uh, uh, particular Buddhist traditions um, or sex. Uh, and then also visit to the family grave, uh, just like uh, this picture, the little daughter uh, went to the family grave uh, to clean and decorate flower arrangements and offering sweets. Uh, usually it's said the uh, ohagi, the botamochi, so the red bean uncle sweets um, put around the, uh, the uh, rice cake inside, uh, which is very good. Uh, and then and then uh, they offer the ohagi sweets and the incense and then pray and then talk to the family ancestors um, uh, and then um, who have already passed. And those two days on um, holidays in Japan, uh, usually and then um, usually like our children spring break there. So the people are uh, able to visit family graves and the temples instead of going to work and school. So Ohigan and it comes from the Sanskrit, the word Paramita, uh, so which is translated to the other shore, so Nirvana or enlightenment. Um, oh, this is oh this is Ohagi. You can see that that the picture of that. <laughs> so uh, this is my favorite street too. Okay. Uh, here is a picture of the uh, parameters. I lost my. So hold on a second. Oh, sorry, hold on a second. I, I lost my icon. Are you going to? Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. So, um, so. Paramita, uh, the other shore, is a nirvana or enlightenment, and higan, it's, um, higan is uh, in Japanese. So um, there is a um, contrasting shore, which is our world uh, that we live in. Um, it's called shigan in Japanese, and the world of delusions. And then reaching, reaching the other shore is Tohigan in Japanese, which is enlightenment, becoming a Buddha, 
uh, it is final goal uh, for the Buddhist. So that to cross the river uh, reaching to the other shore, uh, Shakyamuni Buddha said, there are not only one way to go there to reach to the other shore. There are many ways, many kinds of practice. So we can find a way fits on us, fits on you, individually with different. Uh, that is the reason why there are so many sects in uh, the Buddhism in the world. So they usually say like uh, 84,000, 84,000 the way of teaching uh, the, the, the Buddhism. So the six parameters that serves as uh, the bridge that's spanning across the, the wide river um, and then the practicing six parameters. So, which is uh, David, uh, thank you so much uh, to lead uh, the six parameters today. So, dana, fuse in Japanese. So, generosity, generosity the selfless giving. And uh, sira, jikai, the disciplined ethical conduct. And then, kanji is uh, ninniku in Japanese, uh, patience. And then, uh, biria is shojin, effort perseverance. And then the Anna is uh, meditation, Zenjo in Japanese, and then Prayana Chie uh, in Japanese in the wisdom. So if you want to memorize them all, so this is the way Reverend Dr. Tatsuchiya taught us uh, his former Dharma talk, uh, all the other uh, first characters put them together, uh, G, D, P, E, M, W, uh, the way grandpa delivers pizza every Monday, Wednesday. So, and then you can pass that, pass that exam for the uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> practice. So, so anyway, um, so, the six parameters um, teaches us essential um, Buddhistic way of life, um, which every Buddhist should follow every day. Um, but we might feel practicing the six parameters um, that can seem impossible to follow. So it is okay if you can't to follow them all perfectly. There are no requirements for anything attained to the Buddhahood, birth into the parent. So if you can do it, it is good to follow the way that has been taught 2,500 years ago. So another way to look at Higam, um, so maybe you might be, uh, you, you have seen these uh, pictures before. Um, so the other shore uh, to see in this story, the two rivers and the white path that some of you might remember. And this is the story I actually told at my talk uh, several times. The story expressed by uh, Chinese pure and master, Shantao Zendo Daishi in Japanese. So traveler is journeying. It might be, can you see that picture? It's okay to see? Okay, it might be uh, too small if you are uh, looking at the, at the tiny um, screens or so. Okay, so the traveler, you see, the, do you see the traveler try to walking um, on the other uh, white path? Okay, so traveler is journeying through the unknown and un, uh, dangerous wilderness that he found that before him, a strange river that flows from the north to the south. The south side of the river is fire and the north side of the river is water. The both rivers were too deep to walk and then it took about a hundred steps to cross to the other, other side. And also it goes to the both directions very far. So directly in front of him is a narrow white path that crosses the river. In between these two rivers lies a narrow that white path a few inches wide. From behind, he is pursued by the many bandits and the wild beasts. Uh, they come to the, the push and the soul to get him down first because of he was the uh, only one there. The traveler was scared to die, so he ran toward to the west. So Shantao Zendo Daishi composed this parable that based on his own spiritual dilemma. He himself felt trapped, unable to go back, let and died, and then forward. So, where are you in this picture? Where are you standing right now? 
So are you in the middle of your journey on a white path? Or you are, you are on a bridge walking toward to the other shore, practicing six parameters every day? Or we may be feeling trapped as if we have fallen into the dark hole with everything seems, seems seeming hopeless, unsure of which ways to go. So anyone can fall into this kind of state. Maybe you yourself have already experienced this state of complete loss of hope of now um, not knowing which directions to go. So any of our experience could throw us into this world of darkness. So as I led at the beginning of my talk, um, my talk today, so Jodo Shinshu teacher Shinran Shonin mentioned about our life. The ocean of birth and death, of painful existence has no bound. And said, we have long been drawing. And the only being carried by the ship of, Mid uh, ship of Amida's universal bow that bring us across to the other shore, to the pure land. So Shinran Shonin used the word, the ship, uh, fune, uh, for the, uh, in his writing many times. So he also mentioned that our world, that the world of delusions, birth and death as the ocean. So riding the ship is the essential, most reliable way. So when you ride in a ship, so you will see many different types of people, young or old, tall and short, different genders and race and culture background, religious background. But once we all get on the board, the ship will undoubtedly bring you and, and all the others to the, the destination together. So um, you may still want to study more, more than the others, um, but it will not make different very much if you get on the board. So nobody chooses just a few good people to bring to the destination. We will all be able to deliver, we all be delivered to the shore no matter what. So Amida's bow ship is the best ship ever. You don't have to worry about and hitting with a big chunk of ice just like a Titanic or so. So there are several masters listed by Shinran Shonin that, the teaching, uh, that teaches us the Buddhism, that the first uh, master Nagarjuna, do, um, Nagarjuna that lived in India more than, than the 1500 years ago, he mentioned that there are two major ways to become Buddha, the easy, easy path and the difficult path. So all seven pure and Buddhism masters choose the easy path. And then the name Buddha path it is guaranteed to all sentient beings to uh, the birth into the pure land. So some of you might think that you, you can do, um, maybe you can try the difficult path if you want to. I like studying, I like reading books and sitting meditations for hours and hours and I can chant sutras hundreds of times every day or so but we never know what will happen to us. We might get sick and won't be able to continue to physical practice anymore. Or um, when we get older, we might lose uh, an eyesight, hearing loss, um, and it could memory loss. So we never know if we all get into the um, accident or lose our lives instantly, even we don't realize it. So there are so many ways we can fail to the past or the difficult past. So, since that, that the purpose of me, that Buddha's bow is to engage all sentient beings, um, rather than asking whether the pure land really exists or not, we must accept that the pure land as the world of the waiting for us. So Amida Buddha, since realizing Buddhahood, Dharma body is the way of light without bond, the shining on the mind and ignoring the world. The right of wisdom exceeded the all major and every every finite living being. So take rest in Amida, that the true and the real lights of the ocean on the person death. Please join me in God's show. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu.